Remember that mink, they can leave very squirrel-like appearances. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to put this gray squirrel down. Can everybody see? It's highlighting something. Okay. Um, so, a um, few things to look at. Remember that mink are very much like that otter build. So. Um, coming back to our raccoon analogy, we've got our front foot with thumb and pinky coming off a similar plane, even arc of toes, and arc of toes is sort of a big characteristic here in comparison with our skirts. Mm -hmm. um, and then the hind foot can actually look somewhat like the front foot um, because those four toes um, take the stage very often and that fifth toe is dropped down to the inside, the thumb um, of the hind foot. And so... Um, one of the things that we're looking at here, and actually let's just point this out for all of our small mammals, including little tiny things. We're just gonna go through a bunch of stuff real quick. So on the front foot, there tends to be four toes. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. With um, two toes leading. Whereas on the hind foot of, of our, our rodent family, we've got a row of three toes. So. Right off the bat, we can say, okay, cool, here's an arctic ground squirrel or some kind of big ground squirrel, that's a rock squirrel. Um, you can see the row of leading three right there. We look over here at this at an old world rat, we can see the row of leading three, immediately know that that is a hind foot. There's a, the two leading toes of the front foot. Um, we could look up here into uh, this big woodchuck type thing. Right, right away we see those rows of leading three, we know that's a hind foot, so on and so forth, okay? There's another ground squirrel here, bam. And very often what's kind of neat about this out there in the world is that we will often only see the leading three toes clearly register in tracks. But as we get good at understanding which small mammals are in an area, sometimes there's just a ton, like if you guys had, you know, your cotton mouse and your, um, your eastern harvest mouse and your old field mouse, telling apart their little rows of leading three could be somewhat difficult. But for the most part, you can look down and recognize those, and by size alone, you can say, cool, that's a deer mouse, cool, that's a bull, oh, cool, that's a pocket mouse, because they're actually a little bit different. Anyway, so on and so forth. Um, or that's a squirrel, okay, that is a wood rat, just by the recognizing the row of leading three. So then we go swoosh, back to here, we look at this, see the row of leading three right there? Mm -hmm. Is that a front or a hind? That is a hind, it's better without the flashlight. So we know that right off the bat, okay. and we're like, okay, cool, and then, Take a look at this, back to the um, mink question at hand here. Take a look, the track with the row of leading three, so to speak, it's not a row of leading three. They are spaced out from one another and they make an arc as opposed to this row of leading three. So right off the bat, when we see that, we can wipe muscle it off the table because muscle have a different appearance. They lack that row of leading three. So that's one of those signatures that we can key in on really quickly, okay? Um, so now we're saying, okay, cool. Oh, skunks, skunks on the tables. Interesting, skunks can kind of have an appearance like this. You take our striped skunk right here. Spotted skunks are a little bit different. They actually have some more skewered like features because they have very bulbous um, uh, heel pads. But um, they have a front and a hind that is very similar. They have a leading row of three on both the fronts and the hind feet, which in this, we have one row of leading three, but take a look at this. This is kind of interesting. Right over here, we've got, so here's our, and, and this is kind of neat. Can everybody see the five toes here? Yeah. We've got one, we've got three here, and then there is that little thumb dropped down on the inside. Is that a left or a right? That's a, you're upset, right? I knew I knew what you meant. It's a left. Mm -hmm. um, but what's kind of neat about this too is that if we look over here, we can say, oh, okay. And on the front foot, there's four toes, and these toes are hard to see. There's one right there, and then the two toes weren't showing up right very well, so I'm going to mark them in. 
but we've got one, two, three, four toes. Everybody see this triangular pad? This is three mm -hmm. fused heel pads. Mm -hmm. That's this right here, one, two, three. And then there are the posterior heel pads, those big round things right there, and that's them, one, two. That is the front foot of a squirrel, and that is the hind foot of a squirrel. Here is the other hind foot. It's a little bit blurry, the flashlight doesn't do it. It's, this is just its typical bound pattern. We can only see one front. Mm -hmm. um, that is a left hind. So we can use the pattern itself from that to tell the foot, but more importantly, we can actually see the morphological features of the hind and that little thumb and everything and placing our own hand over it, we know immediately that that is a right hind. Pretty cool. So um, the other thing just to tell apart from skunks at a glance is that skunks have really bulbous, round, meaty toes. Now. Squirrels have very round, bulbous toes too. They're just not quite as large for the size of the entire foot um, as skunks have. And skunks have this really interesting feature. They've got a couple interesting features. Their leading three toes are fused. So they literally can't splay their toes, which is why skunks walking in deep mud, they walk in sand and there's just this little square pattern. Dun, 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 dun. They walk from the sand right into sloppy mud, and it's just this little square pattern because their feet don't squidge out the way everything else that walks in mud does, which is pretty cool. Um, and they, they lend into that very boxy square appearance is this big, fleshy, meaty heel pad, okay, that our squirrels and mink just mm -hmm. lack. Okay? They just don't have that same mass. It's almost like comparing cat pads to dog pads in that mass, okay? So are all those features helping those pop out? Mm -hmm. Good deal.